What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone. I want to welcome you to another video and today we're going to be opening up some Pokemon. And so what I have in front of me is going to be 10 breakpoint single blister packs that I had the chance of picking up at Dollar General. And so I haven't had a chance to open much of this set. This is a pretty much an older set that luckily got brought back through some of the dollar stores. And so we're going to get into these packs. Let's rip some. Welcome back everybody, and let's get into the rest of this video in terms of ripping open these Breakpoint Single Blister Packs. And so, as I mentioned beforehand, I had the chance to find these at my local Dollar General about a few months ago. And so, if you've been keeping track of your local Family Dollar, Dollar General, uh, Dollar Tree, you may have seen some of these different older Pokemon X and Y sets or Sun and Moon sets popping up around. And so it seems like they got to pull some out of inventory. And, you know, you can kind of find them just scattered, whether it be Breakpoint. I remember some Primal Clash and Warring Skies were pretty available. You know, a bunch of these different X and Y sets, which if you look, going all the way back to 2016, which was when this set was made. And so this was a time and place when I was out of Pokemon, so I didn't get a chance to open the set when it came out. But I've had a chance to, you know, kind of see these around. And of course, I got 10 packs right here. And so I'm pretty excited to get to rip these since I don't have much of this collection. And you know, kind of just as representative in the back being the fact that like, I don't have any Breakpoint cards. So my Mega Altaria EX from that X and Y set, I believe Fates Collide coming in their back. And then because you have some of these awesome golden break cards, which here shows two examples being the Luxray and the Greninja break. And right there in the back, we're gonna have our Greninja full art with Zora Rock is a little addition. And so we got 10 of these blisters right here. I paid about four bucks for each of these. So, you know, was able to get these at pretty much retail. And, you know, probably resale for these can go anywhere from about, you know, maybe eight to ten dollars, depending on, you know, if you how many you buy, all that kind of stuff. But as you can imagine, because these are an older set, give it time, you know, this could be worth a little bit. But we're gonna break them open on YouTube. And because I'm a collector, I'm pretty hyped about it. And so, without further ado, let's get into these blisters. And so, you see the packs are gonna be just inside. Pull them out. Sometimes you have a little bit different pack art. But let's start this opening. And so, these you can tell are gonna have different, different cards based on the actual code card being either, again, the white and green or just the regular green and we're gonna have a card trick of three cards and so we'll start off with a slow poke score uppy gibble psyduck or fruit reverse valley great ball eat more a guard chomp reverse rare nice card there and a driven it so i'm actually gonna sleeve up that reverse rare Nice looking Garchomp card right there. Get into the next one. And so, of course, if y'all know with these blisters, you gotta be careful not to actually get into the pack. Seems these are still pretty tied in there. Uh, but if y'all had it, you know, so I got the chance to, you know, pretty much well miss most of the X and Y series. And so I didn't get, I really don't have a lot of these break cards, you know, in my collection. And so, you know, if y'all have a favorite, you know, whether it be from this set, you know, Roaring Skies, Fates Collide, you know, feel free to just let me know what your favorite is. You know, is it the Lugia? I mean, Lugia is a big favorite of mine, so, you know, I'd have to say that'd be my favorite from Fates Collide. But we got a Pancham, Reverse Rare, and a Drapion, non holo Revert, or non holo Rare. And so. You know, I think the break cards are pretty neat. Definitely, I would say undervalued, especially right now. But, you know, that's how a lot of these sets go, especially when they're first brought out. You know, a lot of us are pretty, you know, maybe fed up with some of the amazing rares that we seem to pull all the time. But as you can imagine, give it time, you know, that sentiment will definitely turn around. And I think the same will be said for these break cards, too, in the future. And so we'll get into Rotata, Cricketot, Shelter, Drowsy. Slowpoke, Puzzle of Time, Swana, Misty's Determination, Shelter Reverse, and 
a Ferrothorn, regular rare. And so, also along those lines, let me know what you're going to be your favorite card from this set. Obviously, I think a lot of people will have the Skyla Full Art Trainer or the Secret Rare Gyarados as their favorite cards. I would say those are probably going to be mine as well, with not really having either of those, and so I'm pretty excited to get to pull, honestly, any Ultra Rares from this card from this set. So we got Rattata, Perugly, Pokemon Catcher, Psychic's Third Eye, the Heatmore, and that is going to be an uncommon, and a Ho-Oh Full Art. Awesome card right there. Honestly, didn't even really know. I should have looked ahead of time, but I didn't realize ho was in this set. Makes sense because I guess Lugia's and Fates Collide. That's an awesome EX card right there. Kinda love the two legendary birds from Johto. Oh, right there. Awesome pull. That pretty well already made my day in terms of some of these in terms of opening these packs and so anything I really get on top of that's gonna be pretty well icing on the cake so go card right there one two three accidentally hit the screen three to the back we got Cricketot, Rattata, Brokey, Electabuzz, Grubbish, Aromatissi, Sigliff, Max Potion, a Corsola Reverse Hollow, and a Scizor EX. There we go. Just a regular EX card. Nice Scizor right there. Coming out the front. Got a Blister and Pack, both with Luxray on the front. One of my probably favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. Definitely am a Luxray fan. Would be more than happy to find the Luxray Break. Definitely probably another one of the favorites that you could get from this set. And so here we got a Blitzel, Shelter, Psyduck, Phantom, Slowpoke, Max Potion, Bayleaf, Pseudo Wudo, Slowpoke Reverse, and the rare, a Togekiss EX. And so there we go, we're picking up Steam. Three for three on the last packs. Man, I don't know about y'all, but seem to always have really good luck with these single pack blisters. I don't know what, obviously the odds shouldn't really change, but I just feel like that if you've ever had the chance to open multiple of these before, the odds just really seem to be in your favor with these. They just seem to be nothing but full of, just full of pulls. And so we got a Pharisee, Blitzel, Shelter, side up, and I think you can see a little bit of shiny there in the back. Definitely saw that ping you out. Slowbro, Stanler, Swana, another Slowpoke Reverse. I like two or three of those now, and that's gonna lead into a ah uh, little psyched out, but there we go, Meganium Hollow. Another great pull. Gotta love seeing all these Johto Pokemon again. Nice card right there. We're down to the last three. See if we can get another ultra or hyper rare pool to finish out this opening. Just some icing on the cake right there. Three is back. We're gonna have a Numal, Rickatot, Rotata, Corsola, Skrelp, Frogadier, Ocean, Lapras. Here we go, a break card right there. Trevenant break. Awesome card right there. And a Clefable Rare. And so it's, if you notice, that one did happen to have a green code card. And so nice to see that you can still get these break cards on, even with the Terminer at the end of that pack. Nice break card right there. The one of, again, one of the few I have. I think the only ones I, I've actually have yet to pull one from a pack. It seems like the only breaks I've had have just been from buying some local collections from some people here in West Texas. And so another pack right there. One, two, three. Here we go. We got a Porcela, Porphyr, Pharisee, Trubbish, 
Electabuzz, Binding Fury Belt, Heatmore, Dunsparce, and Veganium Reverse Rare. Great card right there. And a Slow King Hollow. Now I love getting both the Reverse Hollow Rares and the Hollows in the same pack. And so we'll sleeve that up. I already got the combination of Meganiums from this opening, which is fun right there. Leave up that slow king. Stand up on the rock being. Honestly looking very similar. You know, maybe a little bit different backdrop from the old Pokemon movie. Where Slow King was a major player. And if y'all remember that or grew up watching the movies as a kid. Code card right there. And let's get into this final pack right here. And so we got a Petalil. Pokey. Electabuzz. Seed, Esper, Cloyster, Fighting Fury Belt, Heatmore, and Arcanine. Uncommon. Nice looking Arcanine right there. I love all the stars you can see in the background right there. And a Luxray. And that's going to end that opening right there. And so let's do a quick, quick recap of what we got. And so we got Sloking Hollow. A Ganyan Reverse, a nice Trevenant Break, right there, the Ganyan Hollow, the Togekiss EX, the Scissor EX, the Garchomp Reverse Rare, and best pull being that OO EX, Full Art. Awesome card there, you can even see the rainbow there at the bottom, gorgeous card. And so, with that being said, that's going to finish the opening. I want to thank you all for watching the video. You know, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. And that's going to end this opening. Catch me next time. And with that, that's going to end this video. Thank you all for watching.